Hey guys, in this video, we will create a JavaScript function to find matching values in two arrays. So you can see here as input, we have two arrays, array one and array two. And there are two matching values, 10 and 199. So our function should return these matching values. Similarly, we have two arrays with string and you can see here we have two elements which are common. So we will create function with two different methods. One is using array prototype method and second one is using filter method that is in ES6. Okay. So let's start creating the function. So first of all, let's go to our JS. Okay. So we will, first of all, we will create prototype based function. Okay. So using array dot prototype dot diff the function name is diff and argument let's say second argument as array function argument okay so let's call constant array one is equal to some array and constant array two is equal to some array and let's call this function using array one dot diff and in argument we should pass array two okay so first of all let's copy this array one and array two should yes okay so this fun function should ret return the common elements okay so first of all let's create a for loop okay so let i in this so this will iterate all the elements within array one okay first array so we will check if the condition should be if array two dot index of this is javascript function that returns the position of the first occurrence of a string so this should be either zero or minus one or maybe greater than zero okay so if index two of index of array sorry it should be array two dot index of of this of i is greater than minus one it means we have this element within this array okay so if we have array 2 dot index of of these of i is greater than minus 1 then what we will do we will create another variable let's say result variable as empty array okay and here we will push result dot push what we will push we will push this of i okay so after that loop we should return this okay. so let's see array one and array two okay let's see the output okay so some syntax error is there okay uh error dot photo type yeah okay this should be function and here argument should be added to so let's see as you can see we have 10 199 okay let's change some values like let's make it 16 and it should be only 10 okay so this is working fine let's see another function La, you can say es6 method okay in that method what we can do we can use filter method so constant result is equal to array one dot filter and in filter we will get element and we will perform some operation that will check array two dot includes so this include function 
accept three arguments okay the filter method calls the predict uh, predicate function one time for each element in the array so this is for filter but if you want to use include it will uh, it will check the element to search a uh, specific element so it will determines whether an array includes a certain element okay it will return true or false so what we can pass here we can pass this given element okay and if we have uh, element that includes in given array then it will return true or it will return false okay so again let's uh, make it okay let me just insert control this result okay and let's see you can see now we have same result let's make some change 200 and 200 and it should return 200 as well okay let me uh, add some 35 again 35 and it should return 35 as well okay so using this filter method this filter method will perform some operation on each element of this array and this include function will check if this element includes within this array or not if it is true then it will append in this result array or you can say result element result variable else it will ignore so these are two methods that you can use to find matching values in two arrays okay similarly let's check with string okay so array one should be this array and array two should this array with few strings and the result should be same okay it is returning array with cat run right so cat and run these are two common elements in these two arrays and you can also check with this function let me uncomment and let me call this function array one dot div and array two okay then it should return the same result get and run and say uh, long it will not return long and let's add this string within this string and it should return long as well okay so that's all for this video guys this is very interesting and if you find this helpful please like my video and if you are new to my channel please subscribe for more javascript videos you can visit my channel and share my videos as well Thanks for your time. See you next time.